Today we've got three mechanic life hacks to help you get through the day, lower that blood pressure, and make sure that you sell all those hours. Let's get straight into it. So we use tools with batteries in every day. Namely for me, you know, like oscilloscopes, it will be the amp clamps. So you can see the battery in this one is fine. However, a lot of the time you pick the amp clamp out of the box and you can see that it's already switched on and the battery's dead. Nine volt batteries these take. There's lots of other tools we use for batteries, you know, multimeters, torque wrenches, you name it. Now I've shown these on a few courses while I've been delivering training out on the road and the guys are always pretty impressed with them. So what these are, are rechargeable batteries. Now they're not your normal rechargeable batteries. They've got USB ports, similar to what you'd find on a mobile phone or something like that. So they're the nine volt versions. And then we've got AA versions as well. Look at that. Impressive. All you do, connect them up to a power supply and they charge. Amazing. Nice little thing to have in the toolbox. Okay, this next one is for those of you who like to do a little bit of diagnostics, um, whether it's using your multimeter or oscilloscope, this one's pretty good. I can't take credit for this one. Uh, this is from uh, Steve at Simply Diagnostics, so go and check out his channel if you haven't already. And most of us like using these back probes for checking for voltage power supplies and probing into the back of wires. However, sometimes there's not quite enough kind of distance to get the whole probe in. So what we've got here, look, is these little T-pins, okay? And I think they're used for sewing or, or something like that. They come in different sizes. However, what we can do is, is use these in the same way that we would use our back probes. So all we're gonna do is take that pin, carefully go into the back of the wire, and then get your crocodile clip on there like that. Just be very careful if you're checking a live because that is now a non-insulated live. So this next tip I really love, and it was one that was shared with me with a colleague from when I worked at Jaguar Land Rover, and uh, I was, well impressed when he showed me. Um, however, it's really simple. We've all got those times when we get our magnet out and we're trying to get that 10 mil back. Um, however, the magnet just can't get round and, and reach it. Um, or whatever you've dropped, you know, spanners, nuts, bolts, things like that, you name it. Now, as long as it's magnetic, this tip's gonna help. So what you're gonna need is some of these, and these are called neodymium magnets. They're very, very powerful little magnets. You can see I've got a stack of them there, okay? Now, that's one on its own, okay, very small. However, just watch it lift this socket up here. So they're really kind of powerful. I know the socket's only light. However, what we're gonna do on this tip is get one of your gloves, put one of those inside the finger. When you put the glove on, we've now got a magnet that we can kind of reach into wherever we want to get into those hard to get to places and retrieve that pesky little 10 mil socket. I hope these little hacks will help you in your life as a mechanic. If you've got any other little tips that will help you back in the workshop that you'd like to share with everyone else, then get in the comments below.